Chris Walker, Emergency Preparedness Coordinator for the Hamilton County Health Department joins us again. Hey there. Hey, good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? I am good. It's been a while since we've spoken. Things are headed in the right direction then, I suppose. They are. Um, our positivity rate is down well below our peak and uh, down below the point where we consider uh, community transmission. Community transmission is usually around 5%. Uh, we're down around 2% right now, so we're in excellent shape uh, as far as testing goes, and it appears that our uh, number of positive cases are really heading in the right direction as well. Let's talk a little bit about those positive cases because I think the statistics are pretty surprising, or maybe not surprising, in the number of people who are getting sick, the percentage who have been and have not been vaccinated. Sure, the uh, state has put out some numbers recently and one of those numbers that they put out was that approximately 99% of those folks that are contracting COVID-19 at this point have not been vaccinated. Uh, the the number of breakthrough cases statewide, a breakthrough case is when someone is at least partially vaccinated or fully vaccinated and they contract COVID-19. That I believe was 0.087% uh, statewide. That's just over 2,000 people out of two plus million that have been vaccinated. So an incredibly low number. So really uh, should be some encouragement for folks to go out and get vaccinated. Yeah, a proof that it works. Let's talk a little bit though, and I don't mean to throw you a curveball, about the Delta variant. Um, we're hearing lots about that and the fact that that may be our predominant variant here very soon. If we've been vaccinated, are we protected from it? Every indication that we've received so far is that not only does do Pfizer and Moderna in particular provide long lasting protection, they also protect from the Delta variant as well from what we've seen. And thus far, we've only had 106 identified cases of the Delta variant here in Indiana, not just Hamilton County, but all of Indiana. Well, that's encouraging. And, and in terms of counties and how counties go, we are leading the charge in terms of vaccinations right now, correct? Correct. So the percentage of our population that's eligible to be vaccinated, we are leading the way. We're a little over uh, 67 percent, I believe it is, uh, followed by Boone County. Now, Marion County has us beat on sheer numbers, but they also have the numbers on, in their corner to help us on it. So, you know, we feel really good that uh, collectively, in the county, we're doing a, a great job of helping get people vaccinated and uh, we'll continue to do so going forward. Well, and, and, and seeing that shift too, you are making plans to close down the mass vaccine clinic at the 4-H fairgrounds this Friday, correct? That is correct. We are closing the vaccine clinic at the 4-H fairgrounds. That's part of our effort to help return the county back to a more normalized uh, state of affairs that allows the Purdue Extension and the 4-H to hold the fair this year, which is a, a nice change from last year. Uh, it also helps us right size our operation. We have a couple of unique opportunities coming up that I'm sure you'll want to delve into here. Yeah, let's talk about those big announcement yesterday from Colts uh, camp. Right, yeah, so we've been invited to participate with the Colts during their Colts camp, which I believe they said opens August 28th. Uh, we will be out there at Colts camp in Colt City providing vaccinations for folks, and those are eligible for all Hoosiers, not just residents. So if someone does come up, a family member comes up to visit from Evansville or wherever, we will have the ability to schedule a second shot in their hometown. Out-of-state folks will have to do their own follow-up vaccine, but we'll at least get one in their arm while they're here. Um, they're also offering up some prizes that are uh, to, uh, to be determined from what I understand um, for those that come in and get vaccinated. There'll be some uh, raffles that they're eligible for. Yeah, and I think you said August 28th, but I believe it's July 28th. It's Sorry, first. that's correct. That's correct. Yeah. It's the end of July through the end of August. Well, what more incentive do you need than uh, prizes from the Colts to go get your vaccine, right? Right. They've got it. You know, the the nice side of it, too, is, you know, if you're vaccinated, you help you help the Colts out so that you can get more folks into the stands and get the the vibe of the stadium back to where it normally is as well. 
we're headed into the 4th of July holiday weekend. Uh, any thoughts, ideas, suggestions for those of us who are planning to be with friends and family? Uh, you know, the nice thing is, is it looks like the weather's going to be very nice. You know, we'd always encourage outdoor activities, outdoor gatherings uh, as much as possible. Uh, you know, uh, the same thing we always do, hand washing. If you're unvaccinated, you really should be wearing a mask in close contact with other people. Uh, one thing we would say is, you know, if you're meeting with people you normally don't, make sure you have a uh, list of people that you've been around just in case that something somebody does get sick. You can we you can help with the contact tracing process. Like we said, it's not community spread anymore, so we will be doing that contact tracing uh, more feverishly than we were before. Sounds good. All right, this is Chris Walker, Emergency Preparedness Coordinator for the Hamilton County Health Department. We'll check back in with you as needed here in the next couple of weeks. Thank you, ma'am.